Well, hello there, this is Elskeeper, Keeper, and today I'm going to show you a few mods that work just amazingly together. So let's jump right into it. And the mods that I'm going to present to you are going to resolve around planes. Building planes, building flying vehicles, making it as fun as it is possible with every tools that we have. Our whole creation is going to base around, be based around the aerodynamics physics mod, a deadly reentry and drag. So the mod that basically adds drag to our builds, it would add possibility of gliding, which has the possibility of using only one engine. So if we try flying, as you can see, we are able to do it. And if we let go of the accelerate, we can glide through the air. Amazing, very fun. Just remember to have been a wings. So you know, flying is fun, but you know what is more fun? Having very nice, realistic working engines. So with the help comes the thruster reverse. And this basically adds the block that you can see at the end of the thrusters. And after pressing a button, we can block the exit port of our engines. And by accelerating, we are slowing down. This mod also changes how the engines are looking. Unfortunately, it works only for the vanilla one, not the DLC one. So, you know, just, just remember about that. Also, the block is not compatible with the uh, DLC one, the DLC engines. So just keep that in mind. But as you can see, even with our wheels turned off, by using this, we can go back. If we only had two of them. But you have, if you have still some problems, with building your vehicles and you maybe need a bit more lift the greatest way to you know have an, the, the easiest way to add it is by using the aerodynamic wings so this mod adds three types of wings we have the uh, wing angle 2 wing straight and wing angle 1 and all of them adds uh, add a lot of lift to your vehicle and they also cut through air very nicely so your vehicles are can be very aerodynamic and work surprisingly well and this is just the easiest way to you know have a flying craft i totally recommend having them the next mod that is on this list is called realistic thrusters and what does it do don't we have already a mod for realistic thrusters and changing basically thrusters well this mod makes thrusters work in a realistic way. So for example, if we have a thruster pointing at this direction, so we should go left. What do you think happens when we press the left button? Oh, as you can see, nothing that you would expect from this game. In the vanilla version, it would move your whole, whole vehicle left. But with this mod, this engine works like in most modern games. It pushes your nose to the left, not, on, not your whole craft. And I feel like this mod suits this mod pack very well because of the creation that you would like to build. I think this may work the best with some type of a hinges or some sort of a advanced mechanism for your vehicle. I feel like I need to show you a bit more. So in this case, we have two big engines at the front and we have put two small engines at the back. So normally in vanilla, by pressing space, it will go up. But watch what happens when you press space with this mod. As you can see, we just did a backflip and another one and another one. I think this greatly shows what this mod does. The next mod that fits perfectly on this list is called Vanilla Homing Missiles. And this mod doesn't add anything, but it changes how your rocket launchers behave and rocket turrets. So basically by targeting an enemy and shooting our weapons, as we can see, our homing missiles are homing towards the enemy. Even if you face the other direction, there are trying to go the direction of the enemy. Of course, flying in the low attitude may not work the best with this. But as you can see, we are hitting our targets. And this mod fits perfectly, especially if you are building a lot of fighters, you are fighting with a lot of fighters. I think this is just a nice addition to your game. And it doesn't add any blocks, so the game isn't getting any more complex than that. In my opinion, another mod that works best with this mod pack is called HUD Compass. And as you can see at the top of the screen, when you are in the gravity, when you are on any type of a celestial body, you are going to have this compass. And this is amazing addition, especially for multiplayer, because it shows what direction 
are you facing and you can communicate with your friends for example saying the enemies are at the north from my position and you know there is some it is still very good without the map sometimes hard you always have one friend that doesn't know what to do with his life and this can help you with communicating with that friend next on the list we have the hood modern so as you can see at the bottom of the screen we have a modern hut and this is looking very nicely i fit it i think it fits with this mod pack especially because you are trying to build planes and most of the time you are going to build high-tech planes maybe some sci-fi stuff and the old hood I know somebody may have some nostalgia for that one but in my opinion this one looks amazing and it also does it doesn't only work for being in the vehicles but it also works for you know your own guy i totally recommend to check it out even if you are not planning on playing on any other mods from this mod pack it is just an amazing mod also on this mod pack we have a uh, modular roads and why did you think I added the modular roads? So in my opinion, they are fitting here because we are trying to build a mod pack around planes and planes need some kind of airport. And building airport can be pretty hard. It costs a lot of resources. So in my opinion, building it from long roads is the, the way to go. As you can see, just placing three long roads makes us a great runway. And this is already compared comparable to the one that I built myself and it took some time and it was on creative but with this you basically need to build a line or blocks and then add the roads of course you can use the, ro the roads for other stuff like creating infrastructure around your base but for a airport I think this is a very good idea I think they look and work amazingly by using them as a runaway for your airplanes and building in your airport and if you don't want to use them as this uh, you can always use them to build infrastructure to the airport and maybe around your base. And the last but not least, it works just like with Optifine in Minecraft, we have a build vision. So by pressing control we can see everything that we need to know about stuff that we are looking at. So we have a fighter cockpit, we have our large atmospheric thrusters, we maybe even have uh, atmospheric thruster reverse large. So we can see everything that is inside the thing we don't need to look for the control panel we don't need to look for anything we just look at the thing that interests us and we see we have a battery here uh, by pressing or scrolling either up or down we can see and change stuff around it we can for example toggle this uh, one battery off and it is now off so this is a be the best quality of life thing that you can find on the workshop right now in my opinion and I recommend to use it every time you play this game. Without it, it doesn't make much sense. So I think that would be all. Thank you guys for watching. I recommend maybe for some of you to check out any type of weapon core or vanilla type of mod that adds weapons. So I will link a few that I think are pretty good. Because, you know, sometimes the vanilla options are a bit lacking. Even with the warfare update, some of the people want just more stuff. And I will link a few of those mods in the description. But for now, I thank you all for watching and I see you in the next one. Bye.